Hi, in case you haven't seen them, there are a lot of NP damage comparison charts online already. My go-to has been Ein Inferno's NP damage comparisons chart. It's great at comparing servants' potential power, but it's not so good at comparing servants who aren't maxed out. It's also JP based, so it includes upgrades that NA doesn't have yet. Most comparison charts are like this, so when I made mine, my goal was to assume as little as possible. It's NA based and you can modify almost anything that infects NP damage. I've done my best to keep it super simple. If you're confused or want to learn more about it, this video will go over some basics and if you still have questions, feel free to leave a comment and I'll respond. The columns in the main tab are color-coded green, orange, gray, and blue. Green columns are editable. If all the green columns for a servant match your particular servant, you'll get damage relevant to your servant. The blue column shows average NP damage. The cell on top lets you change the enemy's class. Orange columns are editable and are optional adjustments if you want more customization. These extra buffs are split by buff type. If you want to know more about buff types, I've linked the damage formula and a good image explanation in the description. The top row here lets you add buffs that apply to all servants in the chart. Gray columns are either information about a servant that doesn't change, or columns that I use for intermediate calculation. Basically, you don't need to look at these, but there are a few that might interest you. You can change names if you want to. In this Traits tab, you can add information about an enemy. This will affect the damage of some servants on the main tab. Now I'm going to go over some things you can do with this sheet. You'll most likely want to sort by NP damage at some point. You can do this by clicking this triangle icon and clicking Z to A. Now it's sorted. To sort by ID number, you do the same thing except sort A to Z. If you want to filter out servants that you don't have, you can checkmark servants that you have and then click the triangle here, turn off false, click OK, and only the checkmarked servants appear. You can do similar things with all the other columns. I'll go over an example now. To compare my own servants, I made a copy of the sheet and put in all of my servants' details. I want to see how high my damage can get using double scatty. I want to use a quick NP, so I'll set this filter. Let's add double scatty buffs. Each gives 50% quick and 30% defense down at max. You can get these numbers from the wiki. Then Black Grail, mine has 943 attack stat and 60% NP strength. Then I think I'll use Waver, so 30% attack, and I'll use this NP for 30% defense down, so change this to 90% total. What else? Oh, the Chaldea Combat Uniform Mystic Code has a 30% attack buff, so I'll add that here. And I forgot Waver's flat damage. Let's see the damage. Since my top damage dealers at this point are all non-berserkers, they all do double damage against berserkers. So I'll set this. That's a lot of damage. How about a little more? Since I'm using Waver's NP, I can put my damage dealer's NP after it and gain an overcharge level. Okay, it looks like Kintoki is well in the lead, and he actually has enough NP charge from the supports to gain another overcharge level, which boosts his quick card effectiveness. Since he has the Earth attribute, he does 10% extra damage against man attribute enemies. And wow, over 1 million damage. This is actually what I did a week ago to plan for my 1 million damage video. There are a few more important things that I need to quickly clarify about the sheet before I move on. First, I didn't include Elizabeth Bathory Brave's skill 3 in the skill used column. This is because it's a completely random skill that possibly gives one of two damage buffs. If you're using this skill, you'll have to add the buff to the extra buffs section. Chacha's skill 3 is treated as if it's used the same turn as her NP. Maidalter's skill 3 is only used once, even though it can stack. Hookside's skill 3 isn't used because it requires face cards. 
Berserker Raiko's skill 3 should work against an upcoming servant through an exception according to the wiki, but I haven't decided how to address that in the sheet yet. Buffs applied during an NP are always used in the sheet's damage calculation, so if you want to test against buff block, you'll have to add negative buffs to the extra buffs section. When I update the sheet, I'll write information about what changed in the changes tab. If you have your own copy of the sheet with a bunch of changes, you can still update it pretty easily from the main sheet. First, clear all your filters and sort by ID number. The main sheet is sorted by ID, so this makes everything simpler. If I added a column to the main tab, first insert a blank column where the new one should be, and then copy paste the new one into that space. If I added rows to the bottom, you should be able to copy paste those rows from the main sheet to the bottom of your copy. If I edit just a cell, I'll tell you where it is so you can copy paste just that cell. Let me know if you have problems updating and I'll help you. I'll probably only update the sheet when new servants or upgrades get released, but there may be times when I update the main one to fix bugs or add a feature. One issue that you might run into is that the filter box, this black border here, might not cover the whole table. If that happens, click this button to turn the filter off, then select the whole table, go to data, create a filter, and it'll be fixed. That's actually it for stuff about the spreadsheet. I'm just going to go over some interesting groups of servants I found while I was going through all this data, if you're curious. The first group has odd NP multipliers. Most servants follow the same pattern for NP level multipliers and interlude bonuses, but these servants either have different base multipliers or different interlude bonuses or both. The next group has skills that change class advantage. Kiara has a 1.5 class advantage attack multiplier against rulers. Semiramis's skill 2 takes away her attack and defense class disadvantage against casters, since she's an assassin. Caster Nero technically is on this list because her skill 2 takes away her defense class, class disadvantage, but it doesn't affect her attack. This group has damage based on their remaining HP. Anne, Bonnie, and Mary Reed, Ryder and Archer, and Hijikata increase their NP multiplier based on how low their HP is. When her HP is below 50%, Passion Lips upgraded skill 2 gives her an attack buff based on how low her HP is. This last group has zero ways of increasing their NP damage through skills, passives, or buffs tied to their NP. This is so sad, Tristan. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about anything or if I made a mistake, leave a comment and I'll respond. I hope my spreadsheet is useful to you. Bye!